Uh, we're having very good talks. There's a chance that something very exciting could happen. Uh, this is a deal that would be signed by me. Uh, I've been in touch with Congress. I've been telling many of the people in Congress exactly where we are. Uh, their trip is being extended, as Steve said. Their trip is being extended by two days, uh, unexpectedly, because they are making great progress. So they'll be here for an extra couple of days. So what would that include? That would be Sunday, Monday, or? Be all day Saturday and all day Sunday. All day Sunday. So they'll be leaving on Sunday night and Monday morning. So uh, great progress being made. Let's see what happens. Thank you all very much. I appreciate it. Mr. President, do you expect to extend the deadline because of the progress here, or do you, will you still stick with March 1st? We have a one-time shot at making a great deal for both countries. And so we are, uh, we are going to give it. So it, it depends on where we are. If we're doing well, Jeff, if we're doing very well on the negotiation, I could see extending that. And I don't think it would have to be a long-term extension, because I would imagine that uh, if it took, Steve, another month or so or, or less. Yeah, I think our expectation is to conclude this quickly. And uh, if, if we get to the point over the next few days of making progress, recommending yeah. a meeting for you and President yeah. Xi in March. So dependent on how they do over the next few days, uh, I would uh, certainly consider that. Okay? Thank you very, very much, Mr. President. It's a great honor to meet you. Uh, I came here. First, uh, I bring the message from our president, if you don't mind. I ask our Peter to read the letter to you. Thank you. Please. So, uh, you can hear fine. You'll speak for that. Okay. Message from President Xi Jinping to President Donald J. Trump. Mr. President, as China and the U.S. are holding another round of high-level economic and trade talks, I entrust Vice Premier Liu He to be my special envoy and ask him to bring you my warm greetings and best regards. It is my hope that our two sides will continue to work together in a spirit of mutual respect and win-win cooperation and could redouble our efforts so as to meet each other halfway and reach an agreement that works for our mutual benefit. Mr. President, I stand ready to be in close touch with you through various means. Please let me know if you have any specific thought in mind. To conclude, my wife Peng Li Yuan and I wish to extend our season's greetings to you, Melania and your family. May you all enjoy happiness and success in the year of the pig. Yeah, thank you very much. It's been nice.